right, stripper? Not really. Why did you all look at me? Look, the whole audience went, really, she's a stripper, she? Um, I'm going to do some poems um, for you, just a couple to get us warmed up, and then we're going to go on to the feature acts. Um, <clears throat> This poem is called Last Poet Standing and it's about the work I've done over the last 15 years with young people across the whole of the country, in particular in London. I won one of, if not the first, UK Slam Championships back in um, 1999 and as a result I got the opportunity to work with a lot of young people and this is the story of that. I am the last poet standing. On this blank stage of bruised pavements, broken with missed opportunities and well aimed misunderstandings. They say our children are too demanding. The scent of sweat at the base of the spine, carried on wounds of wind, lures the gangs in. Even the air we breathe has chalk lines around it, police barrier tape surrounds it. Whilst the skin of our streets is tattooed with grin and gut graffiti, the city's obituary cut by street artists, cultural terrorists and infant <laughs> infantry sprayed in blood and ink. Siagio are force fed on vulnerability and violence. Their lullabies are the cries of police sirens and the echoes of doors slamming late on the midnight moons as wide as children's eyes. She didn't come home again tonight. She never will. But that child will wait for her for the rest of his life. Because these canals, these tracks, these umbilical streets, these arteries of our cities are clogged with discarded dreams and shopping trolleys. See, our kids die in school corridors. Not just in illegal, intangible, immoral wars, but the simple war between self-respect and self-esteem. So, on these roads, it is expected that you will stumble, fumble, humble your grip on your dreams, but they are the only things we have. These delusions of equality, so stand up, speak free, exercise linguistic liberty. Shut up and speak. Because disappointment is viral, to the point where low expectation equals survival. And when there's little sense of truth, honour and justice, it is tempting to become tribal. So our thin children have dug themselves into their own fragile skin and they hide behind sandbags, postcodes, colours and lies. And a cheap pan shop pride. And a knife. There's always a knife that reflects the hand that holds it, see? The blade reflects the hand that holds it. So when you see your face, can you remember your name? Meanwhile, our fathers are pugilists or fetal, boxers or babies, missing in action. And our ghost link in a cheap chain reaction that leaves us lost in our own living rooms. And he, well he's just an empty chair or an empty promise, or the hierarchy of the fist above the kiss of shadow receding in the mist, retreating in the mist. Fear is your father for getting your name. Well, it's getting dark. We are a long way from home, and from a distance those drained and grain tower blocks are gravestones, and every window lit is a word upon it. Oh, who's going to write our epitaphs when all the poets have gone? Who's going to write our epitaphs when all the poets have gone? Who's going to write our epitaphs when all these young poets have gone? Cause we can never rest in peace, not while police stand guard outside school gates. The children have Kentucky Fried complexions, and education is dependent upon government inspection, and knowledge is privilege, while the libraries of our lives are pillaged. We can never rest in peace, not while there are children who cannot spell their own names. And they are the monsters beneath their own beds and they're afraid of themselves and everything they wish they'd said and the colour of ink is red and this whole town is proof marked in blood. Not while there's one poet left standing. See, we have been worshipping false prophets for false prophets. That 
cult of celebrity, the cynical, cyclical celebration of hypocrisy that allows us to watch the whole outside world like it's reality TV and our children are outside bent knee, picking broken glass from their eyes, broken glass, you see. There was never an end to slavery. We just don't define it anymore simply by ethnicity or by economy. So can you hear the gangs howling from the plains of Peckham to the hard lands of Hackney because they can scent you. You will see me, you will see poetry written among the broken glass and the graffiti starring in the shattered lenses of CCTV. You will see poetry. You'll see poetry in the braille of the night sky. Over length of time a pair of taste to say goodbye son, see you soon. In the harvest moon of children's eyes, or that girl, that beautiful girl, perched on the lip of the tower block, wings unfurled, preparing to fly, even in the ganglands, wasteland, warrior cries, because every one of those tower blocks is a book. Open it. There is hope in it. There is poetry.